Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can make a luxury Shopify store for your clothing boutique. The website I'll be showing you how to make is perfect for if you're selling clothing, shoes, and accessories. And you can also follow this video if you sell other types of products. And to follow this tutorial, you'll just need to have a Shopify account. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. All right, to get started, here on Shopify, you're gonna click Online Store. When you click Themes and scroll down, here you'll see some of Shopify's free website themes. For this video, I'll be installing the Sense theme. Then click Customize. And this will be the base layout for your website. When you click this icon, it's gonna show you how the website looks in full screen. And then when you click the phone icon, it's gonna show you how the mobile version is going to appear. I'm gonna start off by removing the email sign up, the featured products, and then first I'll be showing you how you can structure the layout of your website. Then I'll get into how to add your pictures and how to add products and collections. First off, I'm gonna click Theme Settings, then Colors, and I'm gonna open Color Scheme 1. I'll be removing the background gradient and then I'm gonna set the background to black. I'm gonna be changing the text to white, then the solid button background to white, and the solid button label to black. That's gonna represent your solid button labels. Then I'm gonna change the outline button to white. Then you can change the text of the announcement bar. Here is where you can announce any discounts you're running. You can put any shipping announcement or you can promote one of your new product collections. And under link is where you can link it to that new product collection. And if you want a more minimal look, you can just remove the announcement bar. When you click on this header, under desktop logo position is where you can reposition the logo. I'm gonna set this to top left. This way the logo will appear on the left side of the page and so will the menu. When you click theme settings then logo, here is where you can upload your logo image and your favicon image straight from your computer. I'd recommend having your logo in a transparent PNG format. Then under desktop logo width is where you can increase the size of the logo. When you scroll down and then scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. That's called a sticky header effect and right here is where you can remove that effect. You can also select always if you would like the header to remain at the top of the website when the customers are scrolling. Right below this image with text, I'm going to click add section to template. Then you're going to import a collection list. This is where you're going to feature each of your product collections. And under number of columns on desktop, you can increase the number of collections that you'll be featuring. And you can also choose to display less collections. I'll be displaying two product collections. And be sure to enable the view all button if your store has more than just two collections. That way when customers click the view all, it will take them to your collections page. Then when you click add section, I'm going to import a multi-column. And this is going to be the about us section for your website. You can title this who are we or our story. And I'll just be displaying one column. So I'm going to remove these other two columns. And when you click on this column, this is where you can feature your About Us section text. And next, I'm just going to click on this footer bar, and I'm going to set this to color scheme 1. Later, I'll be showing you how you can edit your footer bar and your navigation bar. And then I'll be showing you how to further customize these sections. I'm going to click on this image with text, and under Content Layout, I'm going to be removing the overlap. Then I'm going to set the container color scheme to color scheme 1. Alright, and then this is going to be the base layout for your website. When customers click Catalog, this will take them to the Shop All section of your website. And when they click Contact, this will take them to your contact form. All right, and then next I'll be showing you how to turn this into this. As you can see, this is an easy, basic website and it has all the base sections that you'll need to get your website started. And also, if you're looking into having a more advanced website, here's an example of a website I created. You can add many types of sections to your website like a moving slideshow. You can add a featured collection, a blog post section, and you can also add a featured Instagram section. By the way, if you are interested in this demo website, this is one of my Shopify theme templates and I have it available on my store. I've put together this pre-made Shopify theme template in a downloadable format for in case you just don't have time to design your website. This Shopify theme template will save you a ton of time. If if you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. These are editable website templates that you can add your photos and your products to. I also have many other types of Shopify website templates designed for clothing, makeup, dropshipping, and many other types of businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. All right, to design the image with text, first off, right here under image is where you can upload a picture for this section. And under desktop image width, I'm gonna set this to medium. And you can also choose to reposition the text. Then when you click on this heading text, this is where you can retitle the main text for this area. You can also put this in bold and you can adjust the heading size. Right below that, you can insert another text box. And this can be a little tagline text. When you select this, you can adjust the size of this text and you can also put it in bold or italic. For this section under desktop content alignment, you can set this to center if you would like to center the text. You can set this to right if you would like to recenter the text. Then when you click on this button, under button label is where you can retitle this button label. Then you can paste a link leading to a page or a product collection within your website. I'm gonna link this to the all collections page. Right below that is where we can start working on the collections. Here under heading is where you can retitle this section. Then under heading size is where you can change the size of that text. When you click on this mobile icon, each of these collections will display one by one. 
Under mobile layout, you can choose to display two columns. That way two of your product collections will display at a time. And you can also enable the swipe on mobile. That way if you have multiple collections, customers will be able to just scroll through them. To create a product collection on your store, here on Shopify, you're gonna click products, then collections. When you click create collection, here you can title that product collection. You can write a mini description for it. And then right under collection type, you can select manual, which means you'll be able to manually add products to this dresses collection. And you can also select automated. For an example, if you set the condition to product type contains dress, then any new product that you launch, as long as the word dress is in the title, it will automatically add to this collection. I'll be selecting manual, then you're gonna click save. Then when you click products, then click add product. Here is where you can title that product. You can put your product description, your pictures, your pricing, and a few other details for the product. And you wanna make sure that the product status is set to active. This way it will display in your online store. Right here under collections is where you can add this product to that new dresses collection. Under tags, you can insert some tags to match this product. This way when customers are searching for a product on your store, this product will be recommended based on their search terms that match your tags. Then when you open that Shopify theme and click on one of those collections, under select collection is where you can choose to feature that new product collection. Then under image ratio, you can set this to adapt to image. You can also set it to portrait if you would like those images to display more vertical. And you can also set it to square. And next I'll be showing you how you can do the about us section. Under heading size, I'll be setting this to small. Then under column alignment, you can set this to left or you can center it, which will center the column text. Under button label, you can retitle this button label, then you can paste the link leading to a page or a product collection within your website. I'll be removing this button label. Then you can choose to remove the column background. I'm gonna click on this column. And under description is where you can type in your brand description. You can choose to write out your about us text. And to save time, you can also use AI writing tools like ChatGPT to write out your brand description for you. For a few other editing options, you can choose to resize some of the text. And also when you select certain text, you can put it in bold, italic, and you can also insert a link. Then lastly, for the link label, you can insert a button label to end your about us section. Once you're done, this is gonna be your finished website. I'm gonna click on this footer. Here you can choose to show your email signup. And you can also choose to show your payment method links and your policy links. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with having an email list and sending out emails on Shopify, to send out emails to your email list members, here on Shopify, you're gonna click Marketing, then click Create Campaign. When you click Shopify Email, then when you click Next, this is where you can choose one of Shopify's pre-made email newsletters. Next, I'll be showing you how you can edit the main menu of your website and your footer menu. Here on Shopify, when you click Online Store, then Navigation, here is where you can open your main menu and you can edit your menu items. I'm gonna click Add Menu Item, and for a few examples, you can add a search bar to your menu. You can add links to new pages, specific products, and also to specific collections. And when you click these icons, you can reposition these menu items. Another option for your menu is to create subcategories. For an example, if you want to create a dropdown just for clothing, I'm going to click Pages, click Add Page, and I'm going to title this Clothing. Then when you open that main menu, I'm going to insert a link for that clothing page. Then I'm going to insert a link to the dresses collection and to that purses collection. And this is how you can list those as subcategories under that clothing bar. And this way when customers are on your website, when they click clothing, the drop down for those collections will pop up. Then to customize your footer menu, here under navigation, you're going to open that footer menu. And here's where you can add more links for your footer menu. To start, I'll be adding a link to the home page. Then I'll be adding a link to all of the product collections. Then you can also insert links leading to your store's policies. And then I would insert a link leading to your contact page. By the way, if you haven't written your store's policies, or if you don't know where to go to write those, here when you click settings, then policies, this is where you can write out your return and refund policy, your privacy policy, terms of service, and more. Then here when you open that website, right under footer, I'm gonna click add block. Then I'm gonna add a menu link, and this menu is gonna be linked to the footer menu. Then I'm going to insert an image block, and this is where you can insert your logo for the footer. And I'm going to insert one last block, and this is going to be a snippet of your About Us section. And that is how you can lay out your footer menu. Alright, and once you're finished, here is the finished beginner-friendly website. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have many different Shopify theme templates available on my website. I've put together these pre-made Shopify website templates and these will save you a ton of time from designing your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here in your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. In these template bundles, I've included instruction guides to help you with editing and installing the templates. 
and it has many types for many different businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup and cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.